In this video, we're going to take a look at the method you can use to return a TP-Link AC750 Wi-Fi extender back to its factory defaults. Typically, you would use the factory reset option if you intend to sell, give away or decommission a TP-Link AC750. You might also consider factory resetting the AC750 if you suspect that it has not been configured correctly. For this video, we will be factory resetting the TP-Link AC750 via the device's physical reset switch, which is located on the underside of the extender. With the AC750 plugged into a wall socket and powered on, you can see that the Wi-Fi extender's wireless signal and both the 2.4 and 5 GHz channels are enabled. Now with some sort of reset tool, Locate the reset switch which is recessed on the bottom of the extender. Using the reset tool, press and hold down the reset switch for 2 to 3 seconds. The range indicator light will now light up green before all the indicator lights except the power indicator light go out. This is the start of the AC750's factory reset cycle. We now need to wait for roughly one minute, during which time only the power indicator light will be enabled. As the AC750 completes its factory reset cycle, both the 2.4 and 5 GHz indicator lights will briefly flash red. With both of the wireless channel indicator lights now turned off, and with the wireless and power indicator lights illuminated, the TP-Link AC750 has been reset back to factory defaults.